Welcome to the world in chaos, part three. And here we are. Yeah, the world does look like it's in chaos, doesn't it? Today I want to talk about a particular type of chaos. Y'all might have noticed certain things you can't talk about related to this type of chaos. Ew, it's not a big explosive war and explosions and giant stories on TV. No, it's a little more subtle. But it is a growing chaos that has been orchestrated and manipulated into existence in a lot of countries. And a lot of it, it seems, under the radar or because of maybe false notions of uh, the ramifications of decisions people make. But it is a, almost like an infestation, like introducing a foreign species into an environment where they're not suited to be. A lot of things happen, and most of them are not good. So we'll be discussing some of the things that have gone on in the UK recently and how it got that way, where it's coming from. We'll take a look. I'm Jessica Spensky with The Rebel. Here in the UK, Tommy's, uh, Tommy Robinson's campaign has moved to Alden, which is a heavily Muslim populated area. The protesters are behind us. The police did have to push them back. They started with throwing eggs, and now they're actually going into the bins and going into the trash bins, picking up bottles and throwing it to the sides. The protesters came, probably around a hundred of them. They started on one side, police did block them, and they actually came around the street to another corner, uh, all running towards the rally, throwing eggs, throwing bottles that they're finding in bins lying around in front of the houses. Uh, I even saw them throw some bricks at, the, at uh, Tommy Robinson's crowd. And what's crazy is that I don't see any media here. I don't see anyone covering this. You're not going to see this. You're not going to hear about this, about the aggression from a, almost oh, definitely over 100 Muslim people pushing, trying to get to this side, throwing bricks, throwing glass bottles at women and children that are here for a political campaign rally. Looking around, there's women in distress, there's women crying that were chased out of their cars when they saw them come in. All of this because Tommy Robinson was holding a political campaign rally. I've been on the campaign with them since since this Tuesday and before that they had no no problem with us. There were protesters at some of the events. There were some civil protesters, but nothing like this. This is what happens when Tommy Robinson stopped his holding. So we just got news that actually somebody got stabbed. Uh, I don't have much information. I don't know what side escalated the situation, but I am walking towards the crowd. Step back here. A kid?
It sounds like a child has actually been stabbed. Police are trying to de-escalate the situation. Riot police did show up and I can tell uh, the, the protest is dispersing, but it looks like they're actually just gonna try another entrance towards the rally. Uh, it doesn't look like they're giving up. There are not, it's, this is not a peaceful protest. This is not a paid protesters with signs. These are angry, aggressive people looking to cause trouble. They're not here to protest. They're here to do something drastic. Tommy did finish up his rally probably earlier than he intended, but he's worried about how people are actually going to get out of here. They are surrounded. There are police everywhere now trying to block the area so no more protesters get close enough. So we had to get there out of there pretty quickly. Um, Tommy actually had all the families there take all the kids and put them in his van so they can get out of there safely. Um, we are on the move, but I am here in the UK to report on his campaign because the mainstream media wasn't there. Wow, that is some crazy stuff in that video. And I need to get the credit to, to the Rebel and their YouTube channel for that. What's going on over there is... Uh, an orchestrated migration from North Africa and elsewhere into Europe to try to uh, change their demographics in, in favor of the left, pretty much, and, and further to, you know, the, the, the goal of the, the people who are of this, this type of religious belief is to completely conquer the rest of us. So, yes, this, this is a growing chaos in the world and we need to pay attention to it okay what we just saw there was a massive scene where tommy robinson tried to have himself a little political rally and he even moved to a, a different uh, place called odin i think it's called far away from where the islam islamic people muslims congregate it was as far away from there as he could get so that they would leave him alone. And it, and it seemed like they went there with a the police escort, like the government basically is coming after Tommy Robinson using uh, these t the police and stuff, the, the system. So it does seem like there's a big organized effort maybe to flip everything to, to Islam or to blend Christian Christianity and Islam together in the Western countries, you know, because the way you get a, a, a new world order like the, the, the Pope's been talking about recently, Franken Pope, is, you know, they become a little bit less uh, communist and we become a little bit less free. That way, when we blend our cultures, we can, it works. You see, so they got the same problem with the Christian and the Islam ideologies. They got to find a happy middle called Chrislam. And I don't think anybody's going for that. You got Frank and Pope over there telling us that, uh, you know, having a, a country is, is a bad thing. And that just for the sake of this global warming crap, we should all just, you know, blend into a, a one world government. But if we say, okay, but you don't get to run it, then how does that work? And then, oh, wait, no, we don't want to do that, right? Do we get to decide uh, the nature? No, we don't. What they're planning to do is, is not the, the utopia that AOC is pushing for. And part of this is to infiltrate countries with the foreign introduction of a species that will corrupt the environment. It's that simple. It doesn't matter if you're moving Christians over into Muslim countries or vice versa. You're mixing water and oil. You end up making sludge. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and you understand that, that this chaos is building everywhere. It's just built up a little bit more over there in France in Germany, in the UK. But it's coming, and it's growing. It's getting its power. Nobody can escape that. They're, they're trying to get into every country. 
So, what is our solution? Do, do we get to talk about this? This is the most censored subject on this planet and in this realm of social media. Talking about Islam like this and wondering what they're up to. But that's exactly what I'm going to do here on the Last Word channel. I'm not going to mince words. I might tiptoe through their little uh, minefield of, of community guidelines. But I'll make sure you can read between the lines in future videos. Because the world is in chaos and I think you should know. Hello everyone, I'd like to take a moment to thank you for watching my video. I know everybody's very busy, so I am honored that you take a little bit of time out of your day to see what I've got to say and see what my videos are all about. So I really do appreciate you watching my videos. I would also appreciate if you would like, share, subscribe, you know the, the whole spiel. I do have a donate button in the in the description if you're so inclined to help me expand this channel and do more things with it. So enjoy your videos and uh, we'll see you in the next one.